This video is an ongoing dialogue for a custom project for terrain boards for 28 millimeter uh, historical figures. Uh, this project is being done by Terranscapes. Uh, for information on how Terranscapes can do custom terrain design for your miniature gaming, visit Terranscapes.com. So this uh, board is um, shows the um, hills as they are cut and the uh, river or stream I should say that's cut and the marsh at the end and I wanted to um, show this to you before I sealed the hills to the board um, or began to apply the um, spackle for the roadways uh, in case there would need to be modifications to the river um, or any final layout uh, changes. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the river and how it was cut. As we mentioned before, the river is um, about, I actually opened it slightly to about two inches wide at the base here, about two inches of a gap, with um, roughly a three inch transition um, coming up the slopes uh, to try to provide a uh, slope that was um, gradual enough that 28 millimeter models could stand on it without falling. This is a 28 millimeter round uh, Games Workshop uh, Dark Elf model, and you can see um, on the edge of the slope there that it does stand. Um, some spots are a little tippy for a 28, but most of the slope is uh, perfectly fine. One thing to note about this uh, stream is that uh, as you requested, you're looking for about a half inch fill with resin, um, which would come up to about waist deep on a model. Um, it will probably fill just slightly under that, and um, and so that actually will produce a fairly wide stream, which I think will give a good accurate uh, representation uh, to scale for the models. Following the stream down um, comes to the um, marsh. The way I typically do marshes is I build up spots um, to represent the boggy rises that come up out of the waterway um, and I do that with spackle etc. And um, I've tried to make these about a half inch high um, so that they'll rise up out of the water. I think I'm going to have to raise them up just a little bit more but the problem is that I don't want them to get too mounded um, because I want to leave the base of the um, marsh equal with the stream because um, I think it's going it won't look right, of course, if it rises up. Um, and so I don't want these to get too uh, globular looking. Um, this, the marsh area will have a, a, a tint to the resin. Um, to give it a, a bit of a murkiness, uh, a little algae-ish look, which is uh, typical of marshland. Um, so that will be, a, and will fade um, into the clear water of the stream, uh, which was requested for the um, brown bottom, uh, sort of sandy brown gravelly bottom um, with clear resin flowing down into the more murky marsh. So uh, the bottom of the marsh may be obscured by the tint slightly, um, so it's not critical that it be perfectly level with this, but I, I don't want it to rise up too much. And if I make these mounds much bigger, I'm going to have to flatten them out more to meet in the middle. So at this point, I'm thinking about probably capping the height of the mounds um, at the height that they are. And uh, it's very tricky to see the height um, with this camera because I can't really quite get down to the right angle. But it's about a half an inch um, high right now in those mounds. Um, and as I mentioned before, taking a look at the hill, um, you can see here the original outline of the hill in green. Um, so as we were discussing, um, a slightly shorter hill and a slightly longer uh, width, um, just by an inch or so really. Uh, but that provides a little more space for the building footprints. Um, and I wanted to make sure, let me see if I can pan back that there was enough space between the edge um, where the slope begins to head down to the stream and the roadway um, which has to pass between the buildings and the hills in the back. So this way you have room for um, several large buildings, each of these sheets of paper again, eight and a half by 11. And as I mentioned before, um, this smaller hill that originally was planned to go right here uh, made it just a little bit bigger, uh, about 30% bigger, and moved it over so that it um, represent the scale better and the roads by it. So this um, shows the current progress. Um, if there's any questions about um, the stream layout um, or if you would like um, to make any final adjustments to the hill design, um, you can just let me know that. Otherwise, um, I will seal those to the board and begin applying surface uh, coat to the 
uh, board to begin um, preparing it for flock. And uh, just to see, I don't know if this will capture. I thought I'd try to show. Well, that's not bad. The uh, slope of the sides uh, for the stream, just to give you a final impression. In any case, um, that's the current update on the Battle of Rob board set.